You want to play fancy? Hang on to your muffler. A little traveling music and away we go. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been away on vacation for the last 21 days and I need to get back to making videos. So you know what? If you want to keep up with my daily activities, make sure you give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram. We do weekly G.I. Joe and Transformer related content here on the channel. Let's get back to it. I mentioned that I would eventually start to show off my Transformer collection. We're going to start by seeing how many Transformers you can possibly fit in an IKEA Detoff Part 1. We're looking at this first cube of four. This is the Generation 1 Transformers collection. So basically, I just want to go through and highlight some of these Transformers that I have in this cube. If we start in the back here, right away, you'll see Shockwave, Generation 1 Shockwave. I got him for such a great deal back in the day. I think I actually posted a picture of it on Instagram. You can check that out. It was a great deal. If we move forward here, uh, we will see Scourge. Generation 1 Scourge, he is one of my all-time favorite characters. I'm not really sure why, I just really gravitate towards Scourge. I usually try to make sure I pick up Scourge whenever he comes out. Next up is Perceptor. Once again, Perceptor is one of my all-time favorite characters. I'm not really sure why, but I made sure, once again, that I picked up the Studio Series Perceptor. There is a short on the channel showing off Perceptor, which you should check out. Autobot Triple Changer here, Sandstorm. What you can't really see from here, I would consider this figure kind of a Junker figure. He was, I think I got him at Value Village, which is a thrift store, but you know what? In the display here, he's covered, but he's shown here. So he looks good in the cube, and that's what it's all about. It's all about just having that one sample of the figure. For me, it doesn't necessarily need to be the best version. It doesn't need to be 100% complete. I just have to have a sample of the figure and I'm good. Of course, you've got the Decepticon Duocon there. He's pretty cool, a recent addition. And then we head out front here, Beachcomber. Uh, and two Insecticons. I actually have, I picked up a new a beater version of this guy at TFCon for like a dollar, a dollar fifty. And I'm going to try to hack a better one together and uh, replace. You'll probably see a short on that in the future. It's on the list of things to do. Moving forward, we have Inferno. He's a classic character. I love that guy. Moving forward, we have Cup and Blur. Now, you'll notice a trend here. There's a lot of movie characters here. It's not done on purpose. It's just those characters. That movie came out when I was six, and I guess I just gravitated towards the movie. So I really like the characters. Blur Cup, some of my favorites. Highlighted first in the middle of this cube. Uh, moving forward, Laser Beak. A complete reflector, which is, I'm really proud that it's in the collection. You got the Micromaster Countdown. You'll notice these two weird things Action Master Snarl and Blaster here. I actually kind of purged the Action Masters from my collection recently, which I did post on Instagram. I brought them to TFCon and I was able to make a great deal with one of the guys there and I got a lot of stuff that I needed. Of course, you've got Rumble Blue here. Uh, you got Headmaster Chrome Dome. Uh, you know, Chrome Dome, I'll be honest, he's not one of my favorite characters. He just fit well where he needed to go. So he's there. You got Ravage peeking out between his legs. Behind there, of course, you have Rodimus Prime. For years, I actually didn't have that yellow fin on him. I went specifically to a TFCon a few years ago, and I'm like, I am not leaving until I find that fin. And I was able to find it, purchase it, brought it home, and added to the character. Sweet. And of course, behind him, you will see a Power Master Optimus Prime, who, after visiting TFCon 2022 is now complete as well. Of course, there's another video up on my channel where I talk about my previous Power Master Optimus Prime, which I got in the greatest garage sale find ever. You can watch that video. I apparently didn't like Power Master Optimus Prime back in the day, and I ended up selling him complete to my friend for one Canadian dollar. It was, it was dumb. I don't understand why I did that. Now, we've talked about pretty much everything in the thing except this guy, Scorponok. Now, Scorponok, once again, 
I, I guess my all-time favorite characters is a big list. Scorponok is at the top of that list. There's just something, he's so cool. When you were a kid, like you'd get those booklets and they'd show like the bases and stuff. Scorponok was always so amazing. As you build your collection, you run into different things. I started one day on Marketplace or Kijiji, somebody was selling a Scorponok shell. So it was completely bare, it was just literally the figure. And I picked it up and I was so happy and I was so grateful that I was finally able to add Scorponok, you know, and start the build process. Months later, some other person locally had a Scorponok up, I think $60. So it was a no brainer. I bought this Scorponok for $60 Canadian, ended up selling my shell for like $20 Canadian. So basically I got this, what I would consider upgrade for like 40 bucks Canadian. Of course, he's not complete, and there's more pieces that don't display well in a baggie somewhere. However, I mean, he displays very nicely. Like, you know, he's got the cannons, and like, he's got his head, he's got his um, mask. He displays very nicely, and as you can see, he is then the, the king crown spot of this collection. This is basically the first cube of four, and so the question is, how many Transformers can you actually fit in a detox? A lot of people, like to use detoffs to like say highlight like one thing that they just put like a one figure like a scorpion in the center and it's completely bare around i don't like to do that i have limited space where i have my action figures so i came up with this more you know scale based uh, way of displaying my transformers little guys in the front medium guys bigger guys in the back I mean you got to kind of play with it to make sure that you're getting enough figures in here But it did a quick count earlier, and I think there's about 25 26 figures in the case here. So I mean that's pretty good I just watched a podcast with the proto man on the slag podcast and he was showing off his custom cases and like you know his cases were like arm arm lengths deep and he can have thousands of figures in there. And that's, that works great for him. But he also custom made those, right? These detops, a lot of people use them. They have risers. I am finding it's working for me. Now, the only problem is this detop, as you can see, as this video series progresses, is completely full. So as I do get more Generation 1 Transformers, they kind of go in a box right now. And I'll have to eventually either move some other Transformers or I want to redo this room and get another detop and have another detop here with some more Generation 1 Transformers. Transformers. We'll see how that progresses. However, for now, I hope you enjoyed it. What I want you guys to do, go down to the comments, tell me which figure in this cube is your favorite as well. Which one would you most want to add to your collection? Thank you for watching. Check out one of the other videos. Uh, they're here now and thank you very much. See you in the next one.